Today's project are these wood and acrylic LED cubes. They utilize RGB light strips, they are daisy chained together, and they're made to match my gaming slash editing laptop that has a cool red light coming up through the keys. I think they came out pretty cool, these light cubes, uh, so let's get into the build. So the idea here is to use one remote to operate any number of cubes. So one cube passes along power to the other cube and so forth. And we use USB cables to create that connection. And they need to have four wires inside to pass along all that color info. For this project I'm using the following. Half inch acrylic which is about 12 millimeter which I ordered online and there are links to everything in the description. Half inch wood, hole saw bit, 5 volt colored LED lights, various regular and micro USB connectors, wires with micro USB on one end and regular USB on the other, continuity tester, soldering iron, hot glue gun, epoxy, and a CNC machine. However, you could always chisel by hand instead. Okay, so let's start. First of all, cutting the wood and the acrylic to size. The acrylic cuts really well on the table saw. We're going for 4x4 four four inch squares here, uh, which is about a uh, hundred millimeter. For wood we're using half inch cherry and we really wanted the wood and the acrylic to be the same thickness. However, if you don't care about that you can find thinner acrylic in the home improvement store. Next up, the hole in the middle. So using a hole saw on the drill press, and this was a little tricky with the acrylic. You have to go really slowly and take your time, and there was a lot of holes to cut here. All in all, we cut nine pieces of acrylic, three for each cube, and then some extra. And then repeating the same hole for the cherry, which is a lot easier. Okay, so I took off the protective uh, plastic here from these lights. So here's the bottom piece. And then I was thinking if you have a dowel, and then you can just kind of wrap this around the dowel and glue it on there. Okay, so power coming in from the wall and I need to be able to connect this piece in here. Just note that the connectors being shown are from when I was working with white LEDs and not colored ones. And then I want to be able to daisy chain two of these together, so I need power going out, which can connect like this, to another light. I need to groove out uh, inside this chair here, and there's not a whole lot of space to work with here, it's pretty thin, so it's a little finicky. So using the CNC machine here to carve out some channels in each bottom cherry piece. However, if you don't have a CNC machine, you could definitely use a chisel or a router if you manage to clamp the wood down right. Now for the electronics. When dealing with colored LEDs, all connections need four points to carry each color, which means there is uh, quite a bit of soldering to do. Here is a basic diagram of how everything is connected. So we start with 5 volt power, which connects to the LED controller, which came with the lights. And that connects to a micro USB, which connects to the light strip inside. And the other end of the light connects to a regular USB. And the same is replicated on the second or third or however many cubes you make. So then it was a matter of creating all of these connectors. And solder everything together. Yeah. 
So when you buy these lights, the controller is soldered directly to the lights themselves. But in order to do a project like this, you have to connect it to a male micro USB, which is basically just cutting in half a wire, a typical phone charger cord, and then connect that to the LED controller. So I wanted to use the same nice braided wires so it would be continuous. To attach the light, we glued on the light strip onto a dowel with some hot glue for reinforcement. And then to secure the dowel and the USB connections in the bottom piece, we used hot glue. So to glue the wood and the acrylic together, we first used crazy glue, because you want a really tight fit, so crazy glue made sense. However, after letting it dry, it became clear that that was not a good idea, and the pieces just came apart. So next up, epoxy, which worked a lot better. Next up, sanding and then finishing with a coat of shellac. To give the cubes a little feet so they don't scratch any surface, I'm cutting up some leather here and then just attaching with hot glue. Okay, time to try them out. So I've got them set up here connected to a power strip which has USB connectors. However, you could use any 5 volt power supply as long as it outputs 1.5 amps. And that's the case for two cubes. If you only have one, you'd get away with less. But I think they look pretty cool. And I really like the balancing light on either side of the computer. It looks nice. Now, one thing I wanted to check here that's kind of interesting is how much power the different colors draw, because they are not all the same. Okay, so here we have uh, the two cubes connected, and you can see the output here. So, red draws the least, whitish draws the most, because it utilizes all the colors. So, pretty neat. I wanted to utilize the colored LED strips, however, if you used regular white ones, which I actually did some tests with first, and it looked cool, but I think this looks cooler. Uh, but anyway, white ones would be easier uh, in terms of soldering and the connections, because you wouldn't need four points to carry each color, only two. So that's an idea. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way these came out. I think the glow is really cool and it's going to be very nice to have them on the desk here. Just create this atmosphere and interesting look. Now, real quick before you go, did you know that I have a second channel, Darby Notes, where I put out a daily vlog Monday through Friday? Maybe these people of the world could use a Swedish pronunciation lesson. North, North John. Norrskön. <laughs> Years ago, me and Matt lived in Paris for a couple of months. I was trying my regular jacket and nothing fit. These vlogs are about my life and thoughts, experiments, behind the scenes footage, like what kind of camera do I use? How do I make my videos? Just random thoughts that kind of pop into my head and that I want to explore. This feeling or lack of feeling of belonging, of home, is a funny one. On top of it or below, and then this will like click. Place. Now, these videos do not have ads, they do not have sponsorships, they are completely supported by my patrons. And I used to do a weekly private Patreon vlog, but it was kind of disappointing how few people actually saw them. So instead I decided to make them better, make them public, and do one every day to better reach and connect with you guys. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely head over to Darby Notes, link in the description, and subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. Um, and if you like this idea and you want to encourage me to explore these weird concepts and ideas, then definitely check out my Patreon campaign, become part of my Patreon family. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.